Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Country Spotlight. Today we are going to be exploring the country of Belgium. Uh, Belgium is a really cool country. I've been there, but it was a while back. Uh, so my question for you guys today is, have you ever been to Belgium? And if so, uh, where did you go? What did you see? And did you like it? Let me know in the comments below. I would be really interested to see where you've been. I definitely would like to visit there again. Uh, so we're going to be doing three minutes. Moving around is allowed. If you want to try out the challenge, the link is in the description. Alright, here we go with round one. We're going to go this way because the car was driving the opposite direction here. So let's hope we hit a more major road heading off this way to the generally northeast eastward direction. So it seems like we've made it to a little town here. Hopefully they've got a more large road passing through. If not, we're just going to keep moving. And great, we hit the end of coverage. Not ideal here, actually. So that strategy didn't work, and here looks a little bit better. Uh, it's newer coverage, Gen 4, so that's a little more promising. We're going to go this way. And again, just hope we hit some larger roads with more landmarks. But this is a quintessential Belgian location. Uh, hopefully we get some road numbers, though. Otherwise, this will be tough. Here's something. This is... We had signs here anyway. Okay, so I haven't heard of any of these towns. More uh, signed for bikes, but we're gonna... Can I go this way? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Here we go. This looks much more promising. This road seems to be the main street for the town. So we're gonna go this way. See what we get. Hopefully something good. Alright, so yeah, definitely not a small place here. We just had a little construction sign, which I think had a road number. There we go, 449. So, Oaktebeke might be the town name here. <laughs> Apologies for my god-awful pronunciation there. Uh, but here we go, we got some stuff. I've actually heard of some of these places before. Um... Lo Christi sounds familiar, but 449 Ghent is, <laughs> of course, a place I've heard of as well, so... That's good. 449 should be around here. Look, oh, Christy. Yeah, there's that. So here's 449. And there's Wak to Beke. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, we definitely started around here. Now, where did we come from? We kind of started over to the northwest, generally. I think. Um... Oh god, this is going to be tough to figure out, but if we were kind of northwest, we didn't cross over the expressways here, so we must have not been too far away. I mean, wait, no, we might have... I don't actually remember how this worked. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's see if we have any street names in the town here. Oh gosh, it's doing this glitch. This is a brand new glitch for this game. Um, I don't think we're officially going to have any more time left, so I'm just going to zoom in to where it was, or generally, and just make a guess, because we're almost out of time anyway. Okay, whoa, well, way further south. Didn't expect that. Jeez, okay. Well, uh, there's that location, so the glitch is kind of annoying, and for some context, I'm recording this video on January 4th, so it seems like whenever you go back to the start and move around a little bit, it gives you the error of failed to load the panorama, uh, then you have to refresh, and then it just sort of resets the timer. So, kind of annoying glitch. Hopefully, by the time I'm releasing this video in late February-ish, uh, they have patched that glitch. If not, well, hopefully it doesn't affect you guys as well. So, let's just move into the second round here, and avoid going to the start as much as possible. But this one, I think we're going to need to. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to go this way, heading west. Small road, but Gen 4. So let's see what we find. A little more hilly here, so a bit of a, a rugged rural location here. Probably further south in the country. Yep, there's some French. So we're on a detour of some kind. See if we can get some road numbers up here. There's directions. So Jadine seems to be a town that's nearby. I'm going to head south. And hold on, we just were leaving a town here. Uh, and this town is, uh, I think Jadine's coming up, and we are leaving Patigny's. 
or something like that. I don't, I'm not really sure how Belgian signs work, but it's something to that effect. But at least we have a couple town names. I'm going to head this way instead, through the town, and try and get some road numbers. Anything here? Nope, just putting us out to other towns, I would guess. Yep, but it's definitely French-speaking part of Belgium here. So that's something, and it's hilly as well. Hmm, will we get a road number, though? Not sure. But to avoid going to the start, I just know we went west to get into that town that started with a P. So, <laughs> there's that. Jadine, again, interesting. That, I don't know what the deal is with that. That might be the town that we were just in. I don't know, but it's something, anyway. Got about a minute left to go here. I'm still hopeful that we're going to get some road numbers. But you never know. Yeah, Patinius is definitely a, a town. So, no road numbers. I'm just going to scan really quick in the hilly French part of uh, Belgium here. Hopefully you come across those towns. It's very unlikely, but I'm going to start down here and work my way around. You never know how lucky we can be. There's Jadine. Excellent. Malvoisin, and there's Patigny. So we came from here, most likely. Assuming Patigny is the uh, town we started in over that way. So this road is going slightly northeast. Very slightly. There's a place that lines up. We don't have any farm buildings, though. Which is a little weird. They might be hidden in the trees there. I hope. Um... But we're going to get the glitch if I move around more than, like, three clicks. But yeah, this is definitely... Yep, there it goes. Okay. Well, we'll refresh. Zoom back in. I'll give myself, like, two more seconds to figure this out. Yeah, I really think we're just going to be there. Just about. Oh, come on. <laughs> One road down. That's annoying as hell. Alright, well, I'll take the 4926 there, I guess. Okay, so once again, that glitch kind of makes pinpointing an annoying process. So, if they've already patched that glitch, I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage here. But hey, it's all good. Let's move on to round three. So, we're gonna go this way. Ooh, interesting white car with short antenna. Uh, it's always fun just seeing the wide variety of Google cars you can find. Especially in places like Belgium and France. They seem to have quite a few. So this is another French-speaking part of Belgium. So far, it's hilly once again. So if last round is indicative of anything, all we need to do is find a handful of town names and then just scan. Because Belgium's not a huge place. So once we've narrowed down the region, it uh, shouldn't be too hard to find towns. I'm probably jinxing it now, so <laughs> maybe you should try and get some road numbers for security this time. So this is a pretty big town. There's tracks crossing through it. So we made it to the center here. Let's see if we can get the name. Yeah, definitely French-speaking part of the country. For sure. So now I just want to get the name of this city. Definitely not a small place at all. So that's good. And here seems to be large road. There's signs and stuff here. Yeah, here we go. Pretty big junction. There's some stuff. So Liège is not too far. Motorway to Aachen and Maastricht, so over this way, somewhere. Um, now, let's see. If I can just get a road number. Wow, it's really just pointing out every city that's anywhere near Belgium, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's great. Just really need a road number here. So, Liège, Herstal... There's Hirschstahl, so we can't... Oh yeah, we must be just in a part of Liège here. I would assume. Now, let's see if we can get a street name without going back to the start. Residence Le Palais. Uh, there's one here as well. This one is Place Coroneuse. Okay. And a pretty large roundabout junction type of deal here, so I am going to look around here. Could be this, actually. Car and moose. Okay. Yep, this is definitely where we came from. There are the tracks as well. So we came from up here. Now, let's try and get this without moving around as much as possible. Um, I think we are only allowed, like, two clicks. So we got some sort of thing here. What does this say? Bernal something. 
Yeah, it's, it's got to be this. So back to the start once again. We're just about there, I think. Uh, we should be there. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Where's the where's the road here? Really? <laughs> that's annoying as hell. Okay, so no 5k for us once again, but that's the closest we've been so far. Good stuff. Moving on to round four. All right, so another roundabout to start right here. Um, let's get the language right away. Seems to be French once again. Street here is Sandeville, and we're in Perouvelles. So I have not heard of that, but I'm going to click down here for now. So we know the city right away. That's excellent. Now I just need directions to other places to triangulate myself. And we'll be on our way here. So if we can ever... Oh god, what is happening? <laughs> if we can ever reliably get out of here, holy cow. Okay, you know what? No, we're, we're going back to the start. Let's just go this way. That is enough of that. Whenever you get teleported off to a side street and are stuck like that, it is the worst. So, we're just gonna go this way. Actually, wait, we went back to the start and didn't have the glitch. I almost forgot that that was a thing. That's interesting. So it did not happen this time. I wonder what that's gonna mean for us. Very interesting. In any case, we are gonna keep moving, be thankful that it didn't give us the glitch, and get some directions to places. Here's something. Valenciennes, now that seems like a larger place. And we have a road number, N60. Awesome. And that should be a larger road, relatively, because the two-digit ones are like secondary roads. So we're looking for Valenciennes. Here's 60. And there's Perivelles. Excellent. Alright, so we should be able to 5k this pretty easily. Back to the start. And we had streets here, which were Sandeville. That this doesn't seem like it. This one? No. What's the angle of everything here? It's kind of northeast angled. North, south, pretty much though. So. Mm, this one? Resistance? No. Wait, was that right? Maybe it did say that actually. Hold on. <laughs> no, Leopold III. Okay, no, I did see that street name somewhere. There it is, yeah, so wait, no, it is this, okay. Yeah, this is where we started. So right about there, we should 5k, come on. Give it to us, please. Thank you so much, Geogaster. There we go. So we finally ended up with a 5k here in a very far south uh, Belgian town there, right on the border with France. And moving on to the final round, if we can stay above 24k, I'll be happy here. Uh, we're starting in another city, which is excellent. So let's see if we can get the name of it and directions to other places as well. This seems more Dutch to me. At least the northern part of Belgium anyway. That would be my guess here. And for the most part it seems to me that the French speaking part of Belgium is relatively easier to pinpoint. That's been my experience. At least generally. I have no clue if these are town names or what. But let's keep moving. But yeah, just just even based on this video alone, um, the two French rounds have been quite easy. The Dutch ones were a little bit more tricky, but maybe that's just luck of the draw. Or maybe I'm just better at French, I don't know. <laughs> In any case, we gotta find some clues here. We're kind of lacking those at the moment. Can we get anything, please? This sign, uh, and it's gone. Excellent. Well, <laughs> great. Let's keep moving. I guess. Bus stop, maybe? What's going on here? Anything? No, don't trust it. Definitely the Dutch speaking part of the country. Maas Mechelen might be the city or the district or something. Don't know. Okay, I, I don't like this. I feel like we've gone the wrong way. I'm gonna go this way now. From the start, and there's the glitch. Refresh. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself only a minute 30, because time reset when I did that, so a minute 30 to figure this out. I'm not gonna cheat, so. Okay, this road seems a lot better. Yeah, I should have gone this way to start. Oh well. What's this? Uh, no idea, but Masmechelen seems to be where we are. Don't know where that is, though. 
Mechlin, something blah blah blah, okay. Just give me directions to other places, that's all I want. <laughs> all I need, please. The river here. And I only have 30 more seconds on my self-imposed time limit. Here's some stuff, though. Finally. So, Lanakin, E314. Okay. So, 314 is up here. There's Machamelon. Masmachelon, whatever it's called. Back to the start. Let's hope we don't get the glitch again. I have 20 seconds. Street names, please. Ver... Verviglen... Vilgen? I'm terrible at Dutch. And... Astridlan. Okay. We can get this. There's Astrid. Enver, Vilg, whatever. So, oh god, it did this again. Well, I'm gonna refresh. Let myself click. I had to get all the way back in here. That's so annoying. Well, there's not much I can really do about that. <laughs> but we should be just about here, give or take. Where was that other building? Okay, no, we're more like here. Is that the last house? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we ended with a 5k. Good way to end it. We had the glitch twice there, uh, but final score there, 24,430. Pretty happy with that one. Worst round was by far the first round. That's where we lost most of our points, I think. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, we lost almost 500 points there, so... First round, definitely brutal. We got increasingly better as these went on to 5Ks to end. So I'm happy with the way this turned out. Let me know how you did down in the comments, and I will see you guys soon with some more GeoGuessr videos in the future.